Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Behind me here is my 2023 Rocky Mountain Instinct. I've been riding this bike for about the last six months, so I thought it was time to do a review on it and we'll just talk about some of the features and the components that come on this version. So, let's dive into it. So up front we got the Fox 36 and this is the Performance Elite. Comes with the Fit4 damper, which Fox also has the Grip2 damper. A lot of people seem to prefer that one, but the Fit4 works just fine for me. It's a little bit easier to set up and not as complicated as the Grip2 can be. So yeah, up front, I've been really happy with the Performance Elite. For the rear shock, we got the Fox Floatex Performance Elite. On the other side, it does have a firm switch just to firm it up for climbing. And I have nothing negative to say about the rear shock. It feels great and does exactly what it's supposed to do. So, so the drivetrain it came with is the Shimano 12 speed Dior XT. It has been absolutely bulletproof. I haven't had a single misshift or a single issue at all with this drivetrain. Um, there's something about the XT shifter that I actually prefer over the GX. Shimano, you can downshift with either pushing or pulling back on your index finger. So that's a kind of a nice feature. It has, yeah, something about that shifter that just feels better in my opinion. So the rear hub that came on this bike is the DT Swiss 370. And that's really the only issue I've had with this bike is in the rear hub. So it has pretty poor engagement. They only installed the 16 tooth star ratchet, which means there is a huge amount of play before it actually locks into its next tooth. And when I got this thing, the rear hub was completely over greased. It was silent. You could not hear any clicks at all. And I think all of that grease in there bunged it up a little bit. And every once in a while, it would skip a tooth or maybe two. And it always happened at the worst time when I was just about to put a bunch of power down and get over a rock and it would skip and it'd almost completely eat it. So that's one thing that was disappointing on the bike. I thought it would have a little bit higher engagement hub from factory, but it's a pretty easy upgrade. I already have the 54 tooth uh, ratchet upgrade. So I'm gonna be doing a separate video on that soon. So yeah, it's really the only issue I've had with this bike is that rear hub. So moving on to the brakes. This bike comes with Dior XT as well. I really like the feel of the XT levers. They're nice and short, have a good hook on the end of it. Perfect for one finger braking operation. Calipers are four piston, so there's lots of braking power there. I really liking the feel of these brakes. As far as the rotors go, they're 180 mil front and back. And well, that's one upgrade I will probably do in the future. I think I'll go with a 203 mil up front. I'll stick with the 180 on the back, but I'm gonna go with the Shimano Ice Tech rotors. That'll help a little bit with the cooling of the brakes. And yeah, they just perform a little bit better. So as for the dropper post that came on it, it is a race face turbine. It's been pretty good. It's 175 millimeters long on the large frame. And that is kind of my go-to length. It works fine. The lever feels great. I have had the sink stick a couple times on me. So that's something I got to dig into. It could possibly just be slightly over torqued on the seat tubes. One thing I got to check, but other than that, the race face dropper has been working great. So also from race face is the rims on this bike. They're aluminum rims. They're the AR 30 offsets. The rims, they spin around. They do rim things. They hold a tire. So yeah, I got nothing to say about those. Another really cool thing about the Instinct is the Ride 9. You can take out these flip chips and move your shock mount around in nine different positions and it completely changes the feel of the bike. I was actually quite surprised on the difference that moving that little uh, bolt from that position to up there is just huge. You can change your head tube angle by a whole degree and it makes it feel really good on the downhills. One downside is when you slack it out like that, uh, your bottom bracket lowers and I was pedal striking quite often with that. So if I was going to do like shuttles or something like that, I would for sure spend the two minutes that it takes and slacken this thing out. 
but for the average riding, I do a lot of climbing as well as ascending, so I like it in the neutral position and it's been working great. So another great feature about the Instinct is there's a flip chip here on the rear axle. You can move your rear wheel back 10 millimeters and that'll make it more stable. Make your front end a little bit heavier and yeah, just more stable at high speeds. There's a reason why mine is in the front position. If you know me or been watching the channel a while, you've probably realized that I have an addiction to wheelies. Having a shorter chainstay makes the front end lighter, which means more wheelies. So I've done a couple small changes to the bike and they are the ProGuard front fender from Rapid Racer Products. I absolutely love these fenders. Um, I also have the longer one, which we're coming into winter, so I'll be putting that on soon. Um, they bolt right onto Fox Forks as well as many other brands. I'll leave a link in the description for those fenders. They're fantastic. Uh, handlebars, I like a little bit higher rise handlebar than it came with, so I picked up some Chromag Foo Bars. They're 35 mil rise. Uh, I've really been liking those bars so far. Um, also put in a one-up EDC light in the steerer tube. It's really important to always have some sort of tools with you, even if it's just a basic little multi-tool like the EDC light. Can't forget it if it lives in your bike. So absolutely love those things. Um, got the Chromag Trailmaster for a saddle. It's a really comfortable saddle. It has been making a couple weird creaking sounds but the comfort kind of makes up for that. So um, yeah, digging the Chromag Trailmaster. And I changed the rear tire to a Maxxis Dissector. And I did that for the BC bike race. I wanted something a little bit faster rolling than the DHR2 that it came with. Um, it's been pretty good, but coming into the kind of rainy wet season, I'm definitely gonna be going back to the DHR2. So that is the Rocky Mountain Instinct Carbon 70. Really enjoy this bike. Highly recommend it for sure. It's probably one of the best bikes that I personally could have for where I live and the type of riding that I do. I don't need more than 150 mil of travel on the forks. I'm not doing big drops or jumps. Um, the same climb as well, descends well. Yeah, it's just a really nice bike. I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you soon.